Hey everyone, it's Kyle. Um, just gonna rant again. I recently applied to a PhD program, um, engineering PhD program. Which, if you don't know, a lot of people don't know this. PhD programs in the United States for engineering specifically are usually stipend positions. So, unlike my bachelor's, where I feed the company countless amounts of money to get my piece of paper. Uh, they actually give you a stipend and your classes are paid for under doing research. I guess I specify that. These are these are research PhDs. Um, you work with a faculty member, advisor, I think they're called PIs, and you do research to hopefully better the human species knowledge base. Um, so it's a bit different than like um, uh, you know, if you're a doctor and you're getting your PhD, or you have to take out med school loans and tons of debt, etc. Engineering PhDs, uh, specifically like for me, it's I mean, I'm doing more of like a data science kind of thing. Um, yeah, if I get accepted into the program, I will. There's a plane. Um, I will not have to pay tuition. I will get a small stipend. And. Hopefully leave with my uh, doctorate degree. Um, now the question is, is this worth it? Seemingly doing quick math. The answer is probably no. You can kind of calculate out what's the average computer science major's salary when they leave school. And you can compound that over the four years, you know, do some estimations for how much they're going to set aside, how much... It, you can do some basic calculations back in the envelope math, math here. Um, and see that, well, giving up those four years of earning power for a uh, maybe slightly higher salary at the end um, seems to not be worth the opportunity cost. Because the other thing you have to consider is this person now has four years of experience that didn't get their PhD in the engineering field by the time you're out and still have zero. So, will your salary for having a PhD even be higher than theirs at that point? Because they've probably gone up a level or two in that time. Um, you know, these are questions to consider. Now, obviously, I must preface. Most people are doing the PhD because they like doing the research. That is me, anyway. I'm not like, hmm, how do I, can I squeeze as much money out of this as possible? Not that I don't, you know, try to optimize my life for money in other ways. But for PhD, it's more of I enjoy doing it. Um, or research so far, I haven't done my PhD. But I've done some undergraduate research, which I enjoy. And I just think it is an interesting thing to do. Yeah. Stupid to say. Whatever. Anyway, um, and I have some people in my life who have gone this route that I know, and they regret doing it financially because they are behind. So I have some data points to go off of engineering wise that I can consider and I can get their takes on it. However, the situation gets much more complicated. Say you work and do part-time PhD, or you can just work during your PhD and put money aside in addition to that stipend you're getting to live off of. See, now the calculation changes a lot if we're just talking about this monetarily. Again, most people are not doing mon monetary reasons, but we're just gonna talk about that here. The point is, is it worth it? Obviously, there's tons of other factors, blah, 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 where you're at in your life, you know, it's, anyway. Now, if I work while I do it, the calculation greatly changes. Now, instead of it, how much is it limiting my, my income potential, or how much money I can put away to hopefully reach retirement sooner? Um, it's now more of a calculation of, well, giving up free time. All of your free time. Uh, to do this thing. So it's really going to depend on what kind of person you are. If you're a person who is 
was addicted to being productive and accomplishing tasks and enjoys the research, then that's pretty much me. Um, spoiler alert. Then yeah, I think that's the way to go. But if most people are like, well, Kyle, I'm 25, I, or 26, or 27, or I'm 22, and I want to live my life, I want to move to a city, I want to, yeah, things are going to get complicated. Um, it's probably not the best thing for you. But as someone who works remotely and, you know, wants to pursue this option, I think it does make sense. Now, clip the video to me in like four years, I'm going to fucking absolute breakdown over how terrible uh this was but uh, yeah you know that's i'm promising this because it'll be interesting to look back on it and be like damn this dude dumb as hell this shit's terrible uh no, i think it's gonna be really 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 difficult gonna take a lot of mental toughness and and perseverance here but uh you know I kind of face the op the thing of what else is there to do? Now a lot of people think that's super sad. Oh, there's so much to do, life is so... I agree, life is amazing, but... I often get into... You know, I get all my things done, I... Wow. I mean, just pure reflection. I'm gonna sit over here then. Yankees! Bye-bye! <laughs> Ooh, it's coming in. It burns. Anyway, um, sorry, that's crunch. Uh, there's this. It's called Parkinson's law. It's the task at hand fills the amount of time that is allotted to it. As it example here. If I have one homework assignment and I have all day to complete it, for most people, myself included, it will take that whole day to get that homework assignment done. If I have five days, or sorry, if I have five homework assignments and one day, I will get those five homework assignments done in that same amount of time. So me cramming all these extra things in, it kind of just makes me hyper-focused and I get in that flow state much faster because I need to, to get it done. And this is the other part. I'm way happier when I'm in that flow state versus when I have this like lollygag time and I wasted doing stupid shit like, you know, I mean, I think most stuff on YouTube I get a lot out of or movies, but I don't know, I just fucking waste time doing some stupid bullshit, and it's, I just feel kind of not as happy. When I'm in that flow state, when I'm, I feel good, I, I'm making progress, I'm, I'm very focused, and, and, and all of these things, and so that's the other thing, I don't think, like, adding this much more affects my quality of life that much, yeah, I'm gonna be busy as hell, but, you know, maybe these are the years to grind, that's how I look at it, um, Maybe I'll look back and be like, Kyle, you dumbass. You should have enjoyed it more, but... And I have looked back through the years, so I have some precedents for this and been like, damn, I should have enjoyed myself more, but... It's hard when you're in those positions and you're like, I want more with my life. I, I want to set myself on a better path earlier, and it's, you know... I'm, I'm accepting of the fact that the decisions I made. Um, I've worked basically all through college. I think outside of, like initial semester, freshman year, I've worked constantly. Um, a lot of this has been online school, just for more flexibility, and going to school is super fun. I like being there in person, but, you know, these are sacrifices you have to make in in terms of life, and I'm, I think I got enough of a dose to where I didn't really miss out, and I enjoy the time I had. Um, but overall, making those harder choices is better for quality of life later than I think it's worth it. It's delaying that gratification and <sighs> getting the fruits of that labor. Um, God, what was I even talking about? I don't even remember. But yeah. Uh, yeah. Is getting a PhD worth it? It depends, of course. Um, 
it'll be funny to look back at this, hopefully when I get in and I've started doing it and I've had some rough points and I look back and I'm like, damn, this boy's smiling for nothing. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's something to consider, uh, especially if you want to be in a more in-depth field. Um, like currently I'm software engineering, but if you want to go into more like these research roles at companies, then it's super important to have your PhD. Because um, obviously you're doing research, so research experience is a very good experience to have for these kind of jobs. So if yeah, in my case, I probably don't want to do pure software engineering my whole career, and I'd much more enjoy doing uh, a research role in which, which I implement my research and, and go off of what I find to make useful products. I think data science is super cool. I think building products around what I find for my research is really cool. Um, my overall interests are like psychology and software and building creative solutions to things. And these are the things I enjoy doing. So I'm kind of trying to find a balance within those that align with my skill sets. Um, but yeah, I am, once again, Anyway, it depends. Just some stuff to think about. Um, I hope you all are having a great life. Peace out.